Yo, bartender. What's up with this one here? If nobody's drinking it, can I have it? Jeez. Could you be any more of a cheapskate? Jungi Han was just sitting there. <laughs> Jungi Han? Well, he ain't here now. Where the hell he go? Dunno. Went somewhere in a hurry. Looked like he got a phone call and rushed out. A phone call? Hope those Jingong guys aren't causing any trouble for him. I'm guessing this wasn't more than a few minutes ago? Yeah. You pretty much just missed each other. Got it. I'll go see if I can find him then. What's so important it gets you to leave your drink behind, huh, Junki Han? Oh, shit. Yo, fancy seeing you here. Ha. <laughs> Are you not embarrassed? I don't do embarrassed. I've been aware of your presence from the moment you started following me. I pretended not to notice because I didn't want to embarrass you in front of others. Hence, my bringing you to a place so secluded. Really? Okay, I'm a little embarrassed. Kasuga-san. You were worried about me, were you not? I can't say I blame you. It just so happens, I'm currently in a position where I could use your help. Huh? Where I'm going will be difficult to access alone. Would you care to accompany me? Oh, an invitation from the great Jungi Han himself, huh? <laughs> it's nice every once in a while, is it not? The hell is this place? A strip club? It doesn't look like they're up and running. Yes, your assessment is correct. What gives? Why'd we come here? I should fill you in. You are not the only one following me, Kasuga-san. However, they would have never revealed themselves while under the Komijil's gaze. Then you knew we were watching. Is that right, Yansu? Come now. Why isolate yourself like this? I'm not Yansu. I'm Jungi Han. It's certainly been a while, though, hasn't it? So the fake wants to become the boss. You think we'd let you get away with that? Wait. These guys are... Yes. They're survivors of the Jingon Mafia. They came here after hearing whispers of Jungi Han's name. According to the Komiju, seven of them had been watching me throughout Ijincho. I had recently learned that they had closed in on my location, which meant that I could take them all down at once. And that's why you lured them here. They would have been too much to handle on my own. But fortunately, Kasuga-san, you decided to follow me. <laughs> would you be upset if I expected your help in this matter? Man, why didn't you say so earlier? Why'd you have to tell me last minute? If I had told you then, your face would have given my plan away. I can't say I had much faith in your crafty side. The Jingwan Mafia will eventually be rebuilt, but you have no right to be its leader. Don't you dare assume Chungi Han's name, traitor!
I take got this. this. Cool. Check this out. This is some seasons. Watch me. Kasuga-san, stay on your guard and make sure none of them escape. Yeah, sure thing. But, uh, what are you planning to do with these guys? We've done enough. You're not set on killing them, are you? I suppose we'll just wait and see. <laughs> Yansu Kim, he's incapable of that. He's Jungi Han in face only. Second-rate trash. <laughs> Once the boss was gone, he took off running. He's completely useless. Well, what's your excuse? Why be a double if you can't die like one? I concede that I failed to serve my purpose as a body double. And I cannot refute being called useless. It is as you say. However, the reason I've chosen to remain Jungi Han, even now, is for all of you. I have no intention of leading the Jing'on Mafia. <laughs> what? Gotta say, I'm lost here too. The day Jung Han was killed and the organization crumbled, what were each of you doing? And where? Huh? What are you getting at? You were most likely without a place to go, surviving with little or no purpose, were you not? We were a people who had finally found their place, thanks to Jungi Hun. It was our only place. After the organization was lost, there was nowhere any of us could turn to. <sighs> the same was true for me as well. It was by luck and luck alone that I was saved by Ijincho's Komijul. I wanted to help. I wanted to offer my hand to those of you that had lost everything of the lives they had once known. Huh. However, I had no way of finding all of you once you had dispersed and gone into hiding. That being the case, rather than search for you individually, I decided I'd have you come to Ijincho. If rumors of your dead boss wandering the streets surfaced, you wouldn't be able to resist seeing if they were true. And should you have come to reason that said person was your boss's double? I knew you guys wouldn't be able to let that slide, and you'd come out for blood. Sooner or later, you'd all make your way down to Eugene Show. You really did this to help us? Yes. If you'd been sniffing around down here, then surely you would have heard about the Komijul at some point. Although I imagine the origins of the Komijul never made themselves known to you. <sighs> what origins? The Komijul are Jingon Mafia refugees. Those who were sent to Kamarocho by the mainland and lost. What? By the end of the 1980s, the ones who managed to escape found shelter here in Ijincho, Yokohama's gray zone. The Komiju had been ready to help those like you and me. I've remained Jungi Han so that you might take my hand and come home. It's been my aim to see that not a single one of us gets left behind. So it's true. It really was for all of us. Son of a bitch, man. Why you always gotta be so cool? <laughs> My apologies for causing you so much trouble. 
Thank you, Kasuga-san. So, are those guys gonna join up with the Komi Jewel? Yes. As long as people have a place to call home, they will always have the courage to go out and fight. I'm hoping they'll use the Komi Jewel as footing and eventually stand on their own. That's gotta be the most sentimental thing a dude dressed like that has ever said, man. Uh, this outfit belongs to the boss I respected. If you're going to make fun of it, I'll be forced to defend his honor. Wait, huh? Come on, dude, lighten up. I'm just giving you a hard time. Some jokes cross into slander, and that I cannot abide. <laughs> if it wasn't coming from you, that is. Huh? You know, outside of Song Hui, you are the only person I've ever revealed myself to. <laughs> there is nothing more to hide at this point. <laughs> so, how's it feel? Bet you're pretty relieved, huh? <laughs> as much as I'd hate to admit it, you're right. It's nice to take off the mask sometimes. So, would that make us friends at this point, Kasuga-san? <laughs> you really asking for confirmation? I didn't think you were the type. <laughs> My apologies.